David Whitnell from Oak Ridge Wines here. Um, celebrating Chardonnay Week in the Yarra Valley. And what I'm looking at here is a group of 2013 vintage Chardonnays. And this, I guess, is a little, uh, a little snippet of what we do at Oak Ridge with the sites we work with. So we have three different wines, all made from Chardonnay, all made exactly the same way but the wines all have very different personalities about them. So we have, uh, we have Barcala Ridge from Wandon East, uh, red soil, 230 metres, um, and this is from a vineyard that um, faces east-west, which is a little bit unusual, uh, and it sits behind a copse of trees, so it's quite a protected site. And this is quite a cool site for that reason as well. It doesn't face the north wind, and we typically have quite large canopies and it ripens fairly slowly that site. And so it's often a fairly late pick for us. And so we, we find with this wine that we have a really steely backbone of acidity with it. And being a cool site as well, we get a little bit more of that flint kind of mineral character that runs through the wine. Um, so it's a very linear, very tight focused wine. And um, you know, it really is a hallmark of uh, the Chardonnay that we produce here at Oak Ridge. The, the second wine in the lineup is from uh, the Guerin Vineyard in Gladysdale. So again, it's about 30 kilometres south of the winery here. And again, it's around 230 metres. But unlike uh, Barcala, it's in a, a little pocket of grey soil. It's all red soil around most of the vineyards in Gladysdale. But this is in a little pocket of grey soil and it faces into the morning sun. So it's an easterly facing vineyard. And the soil has very low water holding capacity, so we tend to get short shoots and smaller leaves and a little bit more exposure on, on the fruit. And for that exposure, we get a different degree of ripeness. And so we tend to get more of a ball of flavor rather than this long, tight, fine thing. So where we go from Barcala being very citrusy, we move into decidedly nectarine, almost peach character with the Guerin vineyard. There's a real depth of flavor around it. And so particularly as young wines, they have a lot of appeal because they have this real sense of volume. Um, they still have some of that mineral character and that burnt match character, which we see as being part of our house style. Uh, but it, again, there's this volume to the wine. And then we move on to, we're going back to Wandon to uh, Thunder and Diamond and uh, Thunder and Diamond, there are three blocks of grapes there. This is from the drive block. And this is what we would call a, a classical presentation. North, south, close planted, mature, uh, fairly low cropping. And it has a combination of, of both of the other two wines. It has the, the depth and power and fruit weight that Guerin has, but it has you know, the zesty acidity and line and length that Barcala has. And this is what sets 864 apart from the vineyard wines. There, there's, uh, there's an extra element to these wines, whether it's through complexity or depth of fruit flavor, power, weight, structure. Usually it's all of those in combination. And uh, when we go through and we make these assessments on the vineyards, these are the wines that all stand up after 12 to 18 months uh, in, uh, in barrel and tank before we bottle them. And um, while we've made 864s from a number of different vineyards before, uh, Thunder and Diamond, and in that drive block in particular, it's the one that we, we just seem to go back to year in, year out, and it delivers the goods.